Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss about the one more part of our lesson, the story of microorganisms quantum. In the previous class, we discussed about some of the common diseases caused by the microorganisms in humans. Today we are going to discuss about some of the common diseases caused by the microorganisms in plants. In the plants, what type of diseases we can find which are caused by the microorganisms that we are going to discuss in this session. So, there are five types of diseases we are going to discuss in this session. How many? Five days of diseases. So that five days of diseases given in our textbook also. Whatever given in our textbook, that as I am going to explain on the board with the same figures. So, look there. In the previous uh, session, whatever we discussed. Again, there are four columns are there. The first one is name of the plant disease. Second one is cause to microorganism. Third one is mode of transmission. Fourth one is a figure. What is a figure? Whatever the image which is with that disease that we are going to see on the board. Look there. The first one I am going to show you. What is the first one? Citrus cancer. Citrus cancer. The cause to microorganism is a bacteria. The mode of transmission is caused by the egg. So, look there. Upon the lemon, some of the spots are there which are caused by this bacteria. That is called as citrus cancer disease. This is the first disease. In citrus family, we can see citrus cancer disease. It is caused by the bacteria. So that spread by the A, the symptoms we can see on that lemon. The next one we are going to discuss about a red rot of sugar cane. What is the disease name? A red rot of sugar cane. Look here. Disease name red rot of fungi caused by that disease. So fungus. Fungi is the cause to microorganism for the a red rod of sugar cane. Air and seedlings, due to the air and seedlings, which one we are using to keep to get the new one, the pieces of the sugar cane, if they got the fungus and they gives a red rod. So you can see that figure. Red colored dots in that sugar cane. So that is called as a red rod of sugar cane. It is caused by fungi. Positive microorganisms, fungi, mode of transmission, air and seedlings. So, this is name is called red lot of sugar cane. So, next one we are going to discuss about the ticker disease of groundnut. So, what is the disease name? Ticker disease of groundnut. So, it is caused by the fungi. So, look here. Ticker disease of groundnut it is caused by the fungi. Then more of our transmission, air and the seeds. Air and the seeds. So look there the picture. So upon the leaves, some of the dust, black color dust are appearing. So those are caused by these fungi. So that the leaves get the spots and the leaves also get some of the holes. So that the symptoms we can identify. Such a symptom sir, are known as a ticker disease in groundnuts. So this is about the third type of disease. And fourth one we are going to discuss. Tobacco mosaic. The fourth one is a tobacco mosaic. So tobacco mosaic is caused by the virus. So the transmission which is the virus is transferred by the insects. So, tobacco mosaic, then cause to microorganism is virus, the mode of transmission is insects, 
look there. And figure out the mosaic uh, tobacco. So it uh, gets wrinkles. Get the wrinkles. So as early as uh, it, uh, um, it becomes more wrinkles and it is unable to use. So the color also changes. So these are the symptoms we can see in the tobacco plant. So once again, what is the disease name? Tobacco mosaic. What is our cause to mind to organic? Virus. Mode of transmission caused by the insects. So the figure it is given here. The next one we are going to discuss about the small disease of rice. The other disease, the fifth disease is smart disease of food, rice. So it is caused by the fungus. It is caused by the fungus. So positive microorganism is fungus. The mode of transmission is A. Mode of transmission is A. Then, see there the picture. So these are the rice grains. So, whatever the color we observe in that, so that is due to the fungi. Due to the fungi. So it is spread by the A and uh, as early as it also spoils the seeds, so we are unable to collect uh, from the field, uh, so we are unable to get the food. So what is the disease name? The disease name is small disease of rice. It is a caused by fungi, the mode of transmission of the fungi by the A and uh, we can see this picture. These are the five types of diseases we can see in the plants. So, up to now we discussed about the plant diseases and the previous we discussed about the animal diseases. Next we are going to discuss about the, some of the food poisoning substances. So commonly we can hear the word food poisoning. What is the food poisoning? So, food is uh, not useful for eating some of the microorganisms causes for that, that's what we are unable to eat. We unknowingly eat due to that we may get warmings and motions. So such a food we call as a, uh, that condition is called food poison. So what is the reason behind that? Clostridium botulium, a bacterium which is widely responsible for causing food poisoning. So there is a bacteria, Clostridium bacteria. So it is a cause for the food poisoning. So here a small information which is given in our textbook. Once you read that, sometimes you might have heard and read in newspapers that some people were hospitalized due to food poisoning. So the more we heard that, so what is food poisoning means in that Put some of the bacteria formation occur. The bacteria name is Clostridium botulium, which is caused for the spoiling the food. If we eat such a food, we may uh, get sick uh, by the vomiting or motions. So such a condition is called food poisoning. So we will hospitalize it, then we can recover afterwards by taking the medicine. So this is about the food poisoning. So up to here you have to read whatever the um, class work you have to complete that you can complete today itself and uh, two more little topics are there that you will continue monday we can finish this lesson